This episode is brought to you by Zazzle.com. Millions of creators, buyers, and sellers, billions of products. Use our code EVERYDRINK10, save 10% off orders of $50 or more. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today we're going to be creating the Flaming Imbecile. And that is because you have to be pretty stupid to do this. Uh, an imbecile. Uh, what we're going to be doing is a layer, four layers, and that layering system is going to be grenadine. Then it's going to be lime juice. Mm-mm. Nope. Lemon juice. My bad. Vodka. Absinthe. Lafay absinthe. 68% alcohol. That's 136 proof, people. And the vodka, of course, you already know what that is. Now, the the fun part here is you get to layer a bunch of crazy stuff together. We're going to layer the grenadine, which I'm just chilling this out. So we're going to put the grenadine in first because that's always going to be your heaviest ingredient, or if not always, a good portion of the time. Then we're going to put lemon juice. And I was... Interested to find that this actually does layer, and yes, I I did a little bit of this ahead of time because I wanted to make sure I had a chance to layer it and have it work. It's a little foggy because it is a juice, but it works. It layers on top of grenadine. It blends just ever so slightly. And then the trick is, well, not even a trick, it was something I didn't understand, which it could be a lot of things. But vodka actually can float on top of lime juice or lemon juice. Man, I'm horrible with that. So we'll throw our vodka in here. It's not a perfectly clear layering for two reasons. This glass is a pain in the neck, but it was big enough to hold the layers I wanted. And... Just the ingredients aren't really meant, they're not really, they're, they're, al- they're almost close to the same weight. So they kind of blend a little bit. But the effect is still pretty freaking cool. So before I do the last step, I'll let you see what it looks like right there. So th- the absinthe layer is the best, probably because it's got such intense alcohol. The It's almost the polar opposite of the grenadine. We good? Oh, yeah. And it, the vodka sits in the middle. And the reason this is really stupid is because absinthe is very potent. There's a lot of drink here. And it is definitely on fire. It's probably hard to tell. And it will probably stay f- lit for a while. See the blurriness? Very hot. It's hard to blow it out because absinthe is so, so potent. And you really don't want... Probably not smart to stick your hand over it to see if it's out. What else am I going to do? I'm not going to put my mouth on it. Um, I'm, I am slightly hesitant because it's just... So dangerous, <laughs> but <laughs> whatever. Stop being a baby. I did it. <laughs> this is true. My guinea pig. You can't. You can't test a layer twice because this is not a drink you do twice. Uh. Wow, that's powerful. Whew. But you didn't get it all down. No, I didn't. You wimp. <coughs> that is potent to the extreme. I can't do it in that, that shot glass. You know what it was? The lemon juice. The lemon juice is so sour. I didn't even taste it until the end. Well, that's probably because I got jammed up. all absinthe. There is a ton, ton of absinthe. Oh, you just drank grenadine. Gross. I'm going to drink it anyway. I should smooth it out a lot. This is stupid. The absinthe is so strong. 
use less. I didn't pour as much for you because I didn't want to waste it. I wanted to make sure it layered. <laughs> waste it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I didn't give you as much absinthe because that would be wasting it. <laughs> that is, I'm, I'm on fire. Like, I mean, it's hot up here, but wow. <laughs> black licorice for hours. Like, black licorice potency of the vodka you don't even know there's vodka in here because you're too busy going what am i doing to myself that you don't even know the vodka then there's that that sour bite and then probably if you could get finished through it you're gonna get that nice coating of sweetness to kind of chase it no, to get it all really down you didn't get much sweet you didn't get the sweetness i got all absinthe with an aftertaste of sour so if you're an absinthe lover you have some on hand and you want to do a cool trick what i would suggest quite honestly is you always perform this on others. What you would do is you'd make this drink uh, f for a couple people. <laughs> Tell them how awesome it tastes. <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> or you just you throw manliness on the line. You're like, dare you to finish it. Because I'm obviously not a man. I couldn't finish it. And just see. What if... are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You get to be... She's even... She even had the hand up. I need to get a camera back here to look at you. Um, <laughs> then I won't be so animated. <laughs> <laughs> behind me on the monitor. So I hope what we've taught you today is that this is really crazy. And that was probably the first shot I haven't been able to actually physically finish. because I it, The cup is hard. The, the, it, that's kind of... I, that's kind of the biggest problem, I think, with this is because the mouth is so wide, it like wants yeah. to roll out of your mouth. So you you have to kind of slow down, and when you slow down, boom, you get this huge fire and sour, and it really, honestly, felt like my head exploded. Like my head exploded. It was just like I'm gonna die right now on camera. Luckily, I wouldn't necessarily have to put it out there if I did die on camera, but you know where I'm going with that. So give that a try if you wish. Now, this week's been rough. <laughs> this has been a very rough week for us. Uh, Campari. Oh, the other drinks were good, though. Oh, the other drinks. The, the other drinks were drink. top notch. The, yeah, and, and what was that? That was the uh, the beverage artistry. Gin runner. The gin rummer. Gin, the taste. <laughs> gin runner. Gin rummer. No, run. Yeah. Wow. Gin runner that we did yesterday. The flavor I couldn't get. What did we decide it was? Yankee Candle. Yankee Candle. If you don't know what a Yankee candle is, think of a big red candle. And sniff it. And, and sniff that's, it. <laughs> that's Light your it. taste in your mouth. Yep. So I'm your host, Eric Schoen, for Everyday Drinkers.tv and Sunday Night Shooters. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs>